Kim Dow here, welcome back to my vlog channel. So I am at Perth Airport, ready to fly off to Hong Kong. So I actually just sat down here for about an hour and finished editing a vlog. So hopefully um, I'm exporting it now and I'm going to try and use the airport Wi-Fi and hopefully I can get that up. I kind of doubt that I would, but I heard that Perth Airport is actually quite fast. So fingers crossed I might be able to get this video up and then um, if this video comes up then I will be able to go through some of the comments you guys um, have posted because I said in the last video that I wanted to do this new thing where like in every video you guys comment something like um, a topic or comment a question and then I'm going to pick five comments and then I'm going to answer them so yeah let's see if I can get that done so if this video comes up then when I get to Hong Kong airport uh, if I can get onto the Wi-Fi then yes I will film that part. I've only got one hour in Hong Kong so it's not that much time just transferring there and then heading straight to Seoul so I land in Seoul at 9 p.m. tonight and yeah I'm gonna be really tired because I only had two hours sleep last night actually. I was going to sit down and respond to some comments for like the new series I'm doing where I'm choosing five comments and then I am going to just respond to them in video but um, unfortunately I think I've got gastro uh, so on my flight from Perth to Hong Kong it was horrible like I spent most of the flight in the toilet um, I asked the flight attendant to give me medicine so he gave me some um, and it has helped a bit but it's still pretty painful I have to go to my flight now and I spent all that time in the toilet again <sighs> so yeah this really sucks guys I ate something bad yesterday, but I asked Eric and he said he was fine. So maybe it's just me. Maybe I ate something extra. I don't know. You know I'm on my flight now, going to Seoul, and I don't know how long this flight is. I think five hours or so. Stay strong and 
just try and remember what a good memory is and you'll be okay. Like, of course it's still going to be very hard but time heals wounds and eventually you will feel better. Like you'll never get over it but you will feel better about it. So yeah, just time heals everything. It's going to be hard, very hard for the first maybe couple of years even. Um, but yeah, that's... I guess what I did was I just surrounded myself with friends and family that support me. Next one comes from Rachel Rudd. Which place that you have lived in can you call home where you feel most comfortable? And to be honest, only Australia is the only place I've ever been able to call home. Like when I lived in Japan, I mean I never planned to live there forever anyway, so I never called it home. Australia was always home to me. So next one is from Hannah and she says, I know you said that Eric and you do well long distance because you're both working on your careers, but how do you deal with issues like jealousy because you seem to have a lot of male friends that you hang out with alone. I feel like this would be a central argument for most couples but you two seem so comfortable with that. Do you guys actually argue about those things off camera or you just in a very trusting place? For Eric and I it's really not an issue at all because we trust each other 100%. Like the thing that makes us trust each other so much is that we both have very good communication so I tell him literally everything. So yes it's true I do have a lot of male friends and he knows all my male friends, he knows um, who I hang out with and what I do every day because I just tell him. I never hide stuff from him and he never hides stuff from me as well. He hangs out with girls as well and I really don't care. And I know that we are both very lucky that we both trust each other so much but I really do think it's because we have really good communication. We talk every day and we try and talk on the phone at least you know, three, four times a week even and I feel that's why we work really well. We both put in a lot of effort to keep in contact with each other. And arguing, fighting over jealousy, we never actually had that problem. It's funny though, we actually never fight. Um, I know a lot of people are like, well you don't fight? But yeah, it's true, we actually don't fight. So we have a very chill out relationship actually. Okay, next one is how do you deal with all the changes in your life for the past few years? And how do you make friends? The changes have been hard, I gotta admit. Like when I first moved to Japan, I was lonely. I had no friends and I was super lonely, living alone and all. But I went all out, so I remembered that I did whatever I could to meet new people. I went to networking events, I went to social events. When I went to those events, I would go out and mingle and I would purposely go out trying to talk to people. Usually not the type of person that would go up to someone randomly and talk, but then I had to do that if I wanted to make friends, right? I had this attitude where I was saying yes to everything, like anything that came my way, any opportunity, uh, when people asked me to hang out, I would say yes, just so I can get out of the house and just so I would go out and meet new people. Last one today is from Fumi and she says, I was wondering on how you juggled your career, your relationships and your own health while in Japan. It must be extremely stressful. So if you'd like, please tell us some tips on how to manage those. The year before, last year, I was working way too hard. I burnt myself out. Like, I was all about work, work, work. That's all I ever thought about. And because I had that attitude, I worked way too hard. Like, sometimes I wouldn't even sleep at night. But in terms of dealing with the stress, I tried to do things like trying to set a schedule. Uh, that really helped out a lot more because when I didn't have a schedule, it was just work, work, work. You needed to give time to yourself as well and I never did that so I tried doing that more and that made me feel a lot more happier anyway guys I'm going to um, end the question part here and then I'm gonna see you guys back when I get to Sunday's place I'm gonna start editing this video so I can get this up tomorrow morning do you like the treats I got you or well, you haven't tried it yet but are you gonna sit sit sit, sit. oh son son oh. no the other one the other one no he's one. so excited oh okay and then you're right and then oh. you're left right. You're left? Mister, you're left? Oh. No, no. He's so excited. He's like, just give okay. me the treat. Down. Oh. You gotta pray first. Prayer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Chewy toy. Hey. Ooh. Like a late birthday present. Oh, you got me all the 10 stuff. There's 10 stuff, yeah. Oh. It's not food. <laughs> like, you want one, Ganga? <laughs> Did you want it? He's oh, so interested. Snap. Yes, hat. Oh. <laughs> Ted hat. <laughs> no, this is mine. Yeah, Not my for God, you, Ganja. Going to add on my Ted collection yeah. over there. Thank you, I gotta see what's... Eat it. Oh, eat stuff. it. You eat it. Oh, they have... They have socks. socks. Yeah, oh, I got you like everything. Yeah, like they like, had like lots of Ted stuff, so I just got you every single Ted item. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's alright. I really love it. Oh, thank you it's so much. It's alright. It's like a really, really late birthday present. No, it's fine. It's fine. Guns, can you show me? What is that? 
Oh, he's so cute. You're gonna climb up? Yeah. <gasps> this is that how he climbs? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. How does he climb like that? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Finish this video here, then I'm gonna edit. So good night. Gum just already finished his treat. Yeah, so I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. I'm not sure what we're doing yet. We might be chilling in the morning, then maybe going to Hongdae, right? Yeah. Yeah, Hongdae, and then yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.